Right, so this is Bees Max at the Richard Channel School in New Malden. Um, I've taken the roof off the hive and uh, you can see the uh, jars lined up that had sugar syrup in well, back in August now, I think it was. as a quick stop gap, a quick boost to help them find their feet because this colony was um, moved in early on in June so um, the bees didn't really know where they were and where the pollen and the nectar was so they need a bit of help um, in between times until they find their feet and know where they're going. So if I just lift up this um, uh, vinyl cover which is in fact a temporary crown board you can see they've built honeycomb underneath it to fill the space up to and uh, including up to the top of the vinyl cover. If I just gently lift that back you can see what we call the bee space down between what we would think is irregular shaped cones but there's avenues or corridors for transport for movement of thousands and thousands of living insects between the banks of new honeycomb that they built down there and to get an idea of perspective of height there you go, you can see lengthways and if you look carefully that's all wax coated so each cell has a front and a back and a covering and it's all airtight, watertight, damp proof, you name it that comb could sit there for years and the honey inside would still be perfect for them to eat and for us to eat as well now these haven't been opened or disturbed, oh, I've got the smoke going, just in case. But um, this time of the year you don't lift out cones or break things up because you think of all the work they've done had to make those all the work they've had to make do with fill up all those gaps. Look at that. Very ingenious. Last piece of space is absolutely rammed full. So the jars did their job, did their job and helped them along. And you can see they've even sealed underneath the cloth the gap between the comb. They've even sealed the cloth underneath with propolis. This brown, this cloth, what cloth was white as you can see, but it's totally coated in propolis now. In fact, there's uh, one, two, three, four. Five, six frames of bees, quite substantial in numbers for this time of year. I'm going to take the jars off and um, probably replace them actually because the sugar syrup has been laced with garlic as an antibiotic and antimicrobial um, medicine. Uh, it helps suppress diseases and the varroa mite and other bacterial fungicidal type problems that bees can get quite naturally but um, normally they fight them off and the uh, garlic infusion just helps and assists that. Once they've tasted the garlic, the bees don't take ordinary syrup after that. They uh, really like the flavour for some reason. But, uh, right, so we'll do this little job, take these away and um, bring back some more.